Beat TV family. Catch us live on your TV screen. Welcome back, Sabulo XAY to Cape Town TV, the best entertainment show in the land. We're here on Channel 263, Monday to Friday, 4 to 5 p.m. Follow us on our social media platforms on Twitter, Facebook, and of course on Instagram, at XA underscore live on Twitter, Facebook, XA live, and of course on Instagram, at XA underscore CTV. What about now on the yellow couch is Via Sky. We're joined by one of the most inspiring uh, men out there. He's absolutely doing great. Einstein Sibanda, who has a free range poultry project right here in Cape Town, started all of this in. 2016. So he's here to tell us more about his journey as a black farmer and of course how is the agriculture industry for black people in South Africa. Einstein, welcome to XA. Thank you so much. Um, good time, good time, good time, good time. About about Einstein Sibanda. For we some of us know you as a farmer, but Einstein Ukulele Pinja and Wenzin Doni Pi. Okay, Einstein, um, Einstein Spanda um, was born in Zimbabwe and grew up um, both in Zimbabwe and um, So I was brought up in Botswana because my mom came from Botswana. So I grew up in a inter -fa family. So both of my families were farmers. Yeah. Um, and but it was farm at a commercial commercial level or commercial size, but they'll farm we use. Yeah. So I used to follow up with my parents while they were doing and um, I was the only child who felt so much passionate with, with what was happening in the field. So I've to do farming every time with them. So that's how I kind of feel like I've picked up my passions for farming because I was in love with animals, I was soil, I was in love with plants, and then it drove really, really hard the passion of my life. Yeah. Uh, farming, I know you say you grew up in Zimbabwe, moved to Botswana, now you're based in South Africa. I know those three countries are very big when it comes to farming. Um, is farming something that you've always seen yourself doing? Yes, absolutely. Farming is something that um, myself into. So it's an industry that I found my life fitting in well. So I think this is a life passion. Um, it's something that I'll always do. I think also maybe it's on, on, on how to use to use the land and how to use a spot of field that, that makes our life. Yeah. So when I am um, Mr. Sibanda Kango, you didn't have to do like professional training in order for you to become a good farmer. So what are some of the things that you had to collect along the way in order for you to be now a professional farmer? Yeah, I, I started learning how to farm from school, but we were doing it at um, school. You know, when you're doing, you're doing a subject um, at a school and then maybe sometime you think you'll drop it out. And you find yourself not dropping it out and then like groomed in that as well. In the, and later on, I found myself wanting to learn more about farming, especially about animals yeah. and all these things until I fell for a test course. I went to school for four years and I did this um, farm, farming practicals and, and, and theories, things like that. I did like agronomy, I grew myself up into, into the farming industry commercial. Yeah. So I feel that this is now my qualification that I can use in, in the field. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your current project that you have? I know you have a lot of chicken that you're currently um, selling out there. Can you tell us a little bit about this project, Oyenza Yungoku? Yeah, the chicken project that I started, uh, it was actually for cause a means of income. Yeah. Um, I started a 
project at a while I was still school, um, I was doing these chickens at a small at a small scale. I started with six chickens and I added up to nine chickens. Um, so the number exceeded to 1,700 chickens. Yeah. So I think I'm capable of keeping, I'm capable of keeping 5,000 chickens at a free roaming, roaming ground. So those are the plans that uh, I'm really working on so that I can see a life of growing chickens and, and reusing better use. So now I've started up again with the pigs. So I've introduced pigs of which I'm looking into a free rotatory in the farm. So that's my, that's my passion at the moment. Yeah. Um, what does it mean? Um, what does it take, actually, sorry, to be a successful farmer? What qualities one should have to be a successful farmer? Uh, you don't have to be, to be like more educated. It is to have knowledge of how to do it and understanding the principles of doing it. Uh, so the education part of it, you find as you as you learn from what you do it. So you're not mainly from from what you're doing. The chickens will, will help you to write your your proper notes. And you learn from there. So I would encourage people and the youth. It's yeah. not that you have to have a lot of money to start up with what you want to start in life. You just must need your passion to get started with what you want to get in life. Yeah. You said now you've moved into commercial farming. You started up, up a very small business, and now your business is commercial. Um, what does it mean to be a commercial farmer from Dongayazi, Yolonde? I think to be a commercial farmer is, is, is a formal strategy of, yeah. of how to start a business and managing how to deliver your products to the final users. Being in the commercial field is really negotiating in a formal way with, with your cost and doing your business in your formal way. So keeping your paperwork is something that is very, very important for, for commercial business because you need to, to understand from your paperwork if the graph is helping your business profitably or are not. Yeah. And then you, it guides you even not to start or not to start something that you want to work at a, at a bigger, at a bigger, a bigger scale. Uh, space. Yeah. So I would say it get ready with, with your passion, get ready with your, your vision and that you can deliver your vision. Yeah. You are such an inspiration because I mean, I mean like agriculture is a growing and of course a booming sector in South Africa. So quickly, um, Mr. Samanda, if someone wants to get in touch with you, if there's a young person out there that would like to get more advice on how they can go um, about starting a farm, um, a farm and actually um, joining the agriculture industry, agriculture sector. So Sifumana Njani, how do people contact you? Maybe someone wants to buy chickens? Um, you can find me on my cell number, 078-300-4296. And you can send an email to einsteinsx at gmail.com. Yeah. Or you can, you, can, you can find me also on Instagram, Einstein Sibanda. Or you can use Facebook as well, EinsteinsX, and follow us. And then you start communicating with us. We can understand and list what you want to do. And we can maybe help each other on how you want to get started with what you want to do. Yeah. So quickly, before I let you go, where are you currently based? If someone wants to physically come to, to your farm. We are located in Simonstown. Yeah. That is on your way. So we are on number 33 Rocklands Road in Simonstown. So that's where people can actually find you and uh, maybe if they want to physically come. So one more question before I let you go. If, if, are there enough, um, let's say, um, opportunities for black farmers in South Africa? Is the government doing enough to support black farmers? 
Yes, there is there is huge opportunity in the in the country. There is huge support from the government that um, is supporting and is looking to, uh, forward to you and upcoming uh, farmers to get started with their projects. So there is there is facilities, there is information, there is a whole lot of resources to be used by upcoming farmers, which is laid up in the government. Well, Einstein, thank you so much, man. We absolutely do love and celebrate um, people like you who absolutely go out there and do great things. I mean, like agriculture is one of the booming sectors in South Africa. So it's so good to see um, black professionals actually joining this amazing field. So Sabule Lagakulu, keep doing what you do. You're such an inspiration to most of us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that's of course Einstein Sibanda, absolutely doing great things. Black farmer based right here in South Africa. I mean, like, this is an industry that I mean, like, most of us as young people should be joining because there's so much money to be made. And of course, there's so much stomachs and mouth to be fed. So, that's of course an industry that is booming. If you want to make lots of money, and um, that is of course an industry that you should join. This is XA Right Show on Cape Town TV. We'll be back straight after this. TV family, catch us live on your TV screens.